I'm Phil Harris. Uh, first of all, thank you, Patrick and Jen, for organizing the conference and the uh, invitation. The use of social media is exploding, and it's exploding by every demographic category, and it's a worldwide phenomenon. Every demographic category is using social media more and more. You might recognize some of the uh, social media sources on the screen. This is not a Twitter-only world. There are image-rich environments, Instagram, and many other services, hundreds of different services emerging. Who knows who the next winner will be? Instagram was nothing two years ago. Today, it's a dominant force. Smartphone penetration is on the rise worldwide, and this is enabling a level of information that has not been seen before in the history of the world. Social media real-time information is emerging because of smartphones. These have intelligent operating systems. Google's Android system, iOS, have geolocation services inside of the operating system. Combined with social media, users are taking images of situations, they're tweeting, and they have exact geo-coordinates. Here's a situation that was captured of a, of a crisis situation from a user on their smartphone. This information is out there. It's in huge quantities, and it's available to you to, do, to perform your work. Today, you can use the existing services to search for social media. This is Twitter's advanced search. You might recognize it. It has its limitations. But there are other sources that have videos, images, very rich, data-rich environments. A picture tells a thousand words that are out there. Today, there are about over 100, at least, keyword and hashtag monitoring services. These emerge as crises evolve. Hashtags emerge, they get, things get followed, but this is only a subset of the data, data. It's a lot of the data. Here are some of the vendors. You might recognize some of the names. There's so many others that monitor uh, keyword and hashtag and text-only uh, uh, postings. So we uh, decided to look at it differently. We said, what if you could aggregate many sources from one location by geography? Things happen in a place. We chose the London Olympics 2012. We monitored 34 locations. We set geofences around those exact locations. Over two weeks, we aggregated 170,000 posts from five different sources, Twitter, Flickr, Picasa, and Instagram. We, uh, the, the thought process was, instead of following a keyword or hashtag, find out what's happening at the venue. Here's the breakdown by day and by data source across those five services. As you can see, Instagram is a, a big provider. Uh, Twitter, of course, is a big provider. But then, of course, you have YouTube, Picasa, and, and Flickr. Here's the total number, the total breakdown by percentages of the 170,000 posts um, by data source. And the key thing is that when you looked at those posts, what percentage of them contained a keyword or hashtag? What, what percentage contained the word Olympics, London 2012? Only 30% of those 170,000 posts were able to be tracked using a traditional keyword or hashtag monitoring service. Here's an example of the aquatic center. Uh, there you see the geofence around the specific location, and you see the, pin, the pins with exact latitude and longitudinal coordinates of that location. Uh, you can uh, see the uh, next slide with a couple of the individual posts. Note that there's the lat and longitudinal coordinates on the post, uh, but there's no keyword and hashtag. You wouldn't find it. That information is coming from the location. Things happen at a place. Crises happen at a place. This is the most important thing to note. That happens at a place. Here are some of the posts from some recent uh, events of the thousands and tens of thousands of posts we put out here, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods. This information is available in large quantities. It's available to you today through some new tools that are emerging. The amount of data is so vast, there's so much noise. Who has the time? You can't wade through all of the data that's emerging on social media. You have to filter. Geography is the ultimate filter. And whoever isn't there, how can they comment on the, the, uh, the track and field event at the Olympics if they're not there? I could, they can comment on it, but the, the real user, the real experience is the, the real intelligence. There's a vast amount of social media data, and there are new tools emerging that allow you to mine that data by geography. If you'd like to uh, get a trial account for Geofedia, go to uh, geofedia.com and request one. We'd be delighted to help you do your work. Thank you.